vehicle isn't running right and you think you might have a bad throttle position sensor, stay tuned. Because I'm going to show you how to check and replace a bad throttle position sensor on your car. Now in this Toyota the throttle position sensor is right here. As the throttle is moved, it also moves the inside of the throttle sensor so the computer knows how wide open it is. That's one of the inputs so the computer can tell how much fuel to fire with the fuel injectors. Now in any modern car 1996 or newer, you can use an OBD2 scanner tool to look at the live data from the throttle position sensor. You can move the throttle and see if the throttle position sensor data changes correctly. But you can forget about that on this old 1988 Toyota, we're going to have to go old school. So in this case we get a metal jumper wire and connect TE and E1 together and turn the key on to read the codes with the check engine light flashing. We can't access live data on this old thing. It's flashing out the code right now. And in this case it's code 41 which is a problem in the throttle position sensor system. Now since we can't access the live data, we can't watch it, we can do some very complicated tests like this. We can go through the wiring schematics here and do all these different tests to see what's happening, which is rather complicated. Or you can do a trick that I've been doing for years, start up the engine, and go under the hood and unplug the throttle position sensor. If it starts running better like this, that's a pretty good sign that the throttle position sensor is bad. So we're going to replace it with a brand new one. I don't advise using rebuilt ones, they often aren't any good. Now there's just two little screws that hold it in place, but the idiots who designed it didn't realize with age they'd get stuck. So here's another trick. Get one of these tiny vice grip pliers and grab them to break them loose. You lock the pliers on super tight and then pull them. And now it unscrews, then the sensor comes right out. Now you see the old sensor has a yellow dot, that's where you mark up the screw so you can line it up in the correct position. Then you just slide it on and put the screws in the top and the bottom. Now if you've noticed I painted a white mark here, so what you do is you turn the white mark so it goes to the screw head, this is adjustable, and that'll be in the position it was originally in. Then you finish tightening it up and get the connector and plug it back in until it snaps. Then cross your fingers and start her up. And voila, no more shaking and no more check engine light coming on. So now you know how to replace a bad throttle position sensor. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.